Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. We out here on these highways and the byways once again. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai. God, all praise to Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai. Got double honor to our elders of GMS who rule well. God, double honor to the elders of GMS who rule well. Hey, Brock and Thumb, now you occupy that's out there pushing this truth, the sincerity, and the strength of Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai on the four corners of the globe. God. We out here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so-called Negroes. We got Benjamin, the so-called West Indian Jamaicans. We got Levi, the so-called Haitians. We got Reuben, who are the so-called Seminole Indians. We got Gad, who are the so-called North American Indians. We got Issachar, who are the so-called Mexicans. We got Zebulon, which is Guatemala, to Panama. We got Manasseh, who are the so-called Cubans. We got Simeon, who are the so-called Dominicans. We got Ephraim, who are the so-called Puerto Ricans. We got Naphtali, which is Argentina to Chile. And Asher is Colombia to Uruguay. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, who Yahweh Shai, our big brother, is coming to redeem one-third the elect. And two-thirds will be set up for the destruction. And that destruction, draw of nigh, man, is right around the corner. It's right around the corner, man. Brothers, we are watching the news, current events. Through these prophecies in the Bible, we know we're close, man. We can't tell you the exact date it's going to happen, but we know it's going to happen. And we know it's close. You know? So, if you ain't got the spirit of your how about shimmy, how about shy on you in that day, basically going to be good riddance for you, man. You're going to get destroyed. You're going to get handed over to martial law. You're going to be a victim of race riots. And uh, the nuclear destruction is going to get you in the end game. For us, two thirds of our people. Esau, you're gonna be destroyed, and your ass gonna come back into slavery. Five. Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. God says, Rise from the dead. It means be spiritually dead. I mean, rise up, come back to the law, stats, and commandments, man. This is this is your livelihood, man. And, 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 and how shall I be with you, man, in that day? But if not, man, you're gonna be turned over to some, some mourning and a lot of sorrows, man. And the scripture call it pains, P-A-N-G-S. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad on you in that day, man. See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. See that you walk circumspectly. You got to be aware of things that's going on around you, man. You have to always be watching, man. You got to always be watching because that time is drawing nigh, man. You got to be aware of everything going on around you, man. You have to, you have to be aware of shit. With, with, what you doing as yourself, if you got kids, what the hell they doing? Family, you got to watch all these fucking fools out here, man. You just got to be uh, watch it, man. You got to keep your eyes open, man. Because it's, it's, it's going to be a terrible time here in America, man. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Because the days are evil, see? It's point blank. It said the days are evil, man. There's a lot of demons out here, man. You know? So we out, you know, we outnumber the men of the Lord. We outnumber we outnumbered 144,000 to about 7 billion. So we really have to keep our eyes open and watch out for each other, man. As well as ourselves, too. You know? And wait on that day. As the Lord said, wait thee on me. When he give us, Lord willing, that power, we'll be able to uh, deal and stand and deal with these demons in that day, man. Get ready to put a little work in. Is our salvation nearer than we, than we when we believe? God, it says, knowing the time is high time to wake out of sleep. Like the scripture read in Ephesians, man, we got to wake up out of that dead state. We got to wake to righteousness, man. Uh, like it said in uh, Corinthians. Yeah, I got it right here. Go ahead, you get that, brother. First Corinthians 15 and 34. Awake to righteousness, but still not. For some have not known. For well, some have not the knowledge of the most high, I speak this your chain. 
gun. It said, wait to righteousness, man. What's the righteousness? Coming back to the laws, the statutes, and commandments of this Bible, man. That's what's waking to righteousness, man. Coming out of that dead state. You know? Yeah, you know, yeah. So, but when you're in a dead state, you calling yourself an African American, you calling yourself a Brazilian, you calling yourself a, a Guatemalan, you calling yourself a Haitian, a Jamaican, you know, you calling yourself a North American Indian or the indigenous people, uh, you calling yourself a, a Mexican or Hispanic, you know. That's a that's a dead state because those 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 terms were put on you by the white man when we was conquered as a nation of people. So you in a dead state and you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai when you when you embrace them names uh, and calling yourself and saying that's that's your nationality. You see, you in a dead state. Read that again. Huh? Yeah, through the will of, of 
the highway. And um uh, uh in Greece. When you when you look at the map, Corinthians is in Greece. When you look at the ancient map, okay? The biblical ancient map. Go ahead. They that are sanctified in the house of God to be saints. Mm -hmm. Called to be saints. Who are the saints? The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. But right now, on this side, it's the elect. Okay, go ahead. With all that in every place, call upon the name of the house of God, the Mashiach, our Lord. Oh! Read that again. With all that in every place, call upon the name of the Shai and the Machiach, our Lord. So that's why sometimes I might call you Shai, Lord. Okay? It's in the scriptures. Please continue. Uh, both here and out. Great be unto you and people of uh, God our Father and from the Lord, the Shai and Machiach. Let's explain. You got, you got it? Yeah. Go back to Romans 13 real quick. Okay. Uh, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 12. It says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Come, put on the armor of light. What's that armor? That, that armor is the knowledge, right? right. It's, it's the uh, 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 knowledge, long-suffering, enduring of the scriptures, right? Being patient with the scriptures. Put out, put out. Go ahead. And I was going to say, in the word patience, it means to suffer. Yeah. It means to suffer. Because when you're part of this truth, when you put on this armor, like, it ain't like you ain't going to go through sufferings, man. You're going to suffer the whole way. Most I throw you a bone here and there. But you're going to suffer the whole way. Until the outer side. Most I see in our side to come redeem us, and that's the end of our suffering. Yeah, just like just like the brother said, whether 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 Satan is playing uh, uh, mind tricks on you because we in this flesh, brothers may think certain things, and you know sometimes may take it too far. But shit, that that we in this flesh, and that's part of suffering, man. You know all you can do is repent and, and send a prayer, man. That's all you can do, man. And, and you may you may be uh, you may get uh, have a car wreck you may uh, 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 go to jail you know those are all all things uh, to to you know to strengthen your faith man while you in this uh, uh, those are all things to strengthen your faith and that's part of suffering because this great tribulation that's gonna come on this earth man great tribulation so the Most High is building your faith up when you go through those things man. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the brother was basically saying um, that that patience means basically it's long suffering, and the scripture tell you you have to we have to continue to endure it, but it say take cheerfully what you're going through. It's um, in Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth and scourged every son whom He receiveth. If you endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. Yeah, so basically, if you're not being chastised, like Nate, he ain't being chastised. All the mother groups, they not being chastised, man. The only men that are being chastised are the real men of the Lord, beginning with the elders of GMS. And we're being chastised in our own personal life and out there in the uh, so-called internet world. We're chastised by all you damn, you damn scoffers. But if you be without chast chastisement, whereof are, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards, not sons. Right. Yeah, and that, and that proves that, prove that when you have the truth, you get chastised while you're in the truth because the brothers that's really going through it and, and, and had them demons trying to, trying to pull them out of the truth, you know what I'm saying? That lets you know uh, uh, that, that uh, when you examine yourself, you are doing the right thing in the spirit of your Abba Shai. And that's what's going to happen when you got this word in you and you seeking the Heavenly Father 
out in the sun. You gonna get chastised while you in this truth, man. You gonna get it. You gonna, it's gonna happen to you. It's no, it's no escape, man. You gonna have people coming against you, man. You gonna have it, man. You gonna have scoffers all on the comment board. And then you got, you got uh, uh, the scoffers, scoffers be so heavy, sometimes you just gotta ignore their ass, man, cause they so goddamn dumb and they put up so much dumb shit. You, didn't, you, have, you have caught them, you have caught them plenty of times, but they keep coming and keep putting up dumb ass shit. So you just say, man, fuck them motherfuckers, man. They made the most high, sent up curses, and made the most high destroy your bitch ass. That's, right. what, we, that's what we say all the time. Because they proud. They got to have something to come back even if the shit don't make sense. Yep. Just, uh, just like uh, just like Mr. Potato Head, Do Zion, you know, uh, 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 Dunlaka, a.k.a. Dunlaka, a.k.a. D-Wade, which Wade mean to push for. Nigga, you out of your goddamn mind. Somebody to listen to your dumb ass, then you got Baphomet, Bigger Day, on your fucking tag name. On your fucking page, man. You're a fucking demon, man. You're a fucking demon. And then we use you, we use you as an example to, to, to uh, tell Israel not to be like that, man. Not to be like that. Because uh, cause little do brothers know uh, that nigga... We, we sent curses up on that nigga in the spirit of y'all by Shemel Shot. And that's why he acting like that. That's why he acting like that. And he's secretly, and he's secretly in the uh, Egyptology, man. He's secretly in the Egyptology, man. You know? Mr. Potato Head, a.k.a. Dunlakai, to Zion. You know? Go ahead, uh. Yeah, this is the back of what the brother was saying that uh, when you come in the truth, that you're going you gonna, to uh, go through a whole bunch of shit. Uh, go hand in hand. Suffering and the truth is hand in hand, man. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're in a world full of lies. Yeah. The Sirach, two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So basically, it's asking, if you come serving me, you better get prepared. You better be prepared for the shit that you're going to face. It says, set, your heart, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in, in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Good. Thou may be increased at thy last end. Because uh, Revelation, Revelation 3 and 10 come, you're going get, get to need it, man. That's a. Uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, God, I, kept also, word. Go ahead. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord said he's going to keep keep you from the hour of temptation. He's going to protect you. He's going to put a protective umbrella over you, which are the men of the Lord, the elect. Two-thirds, he ain't he not going to do that for you. He's going he gonna to let that overtake you. You know how the scriptures say, uh, is joint heir, see how it's shy. If he if he suffer, you suffer with him. Therefore, when he glorify, you be glorified. That scripture says, um, let's read it from the top. Bro. It says, uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. If thou have, you can actually say, if thou have kept the word of my long suffering or my suffering. Because patience means suffering. Meaning those who kept the word, kept the word and have suffered for my sake. He gonna keep you from the hour of temptation. He protect you. Uh, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Try us. We're gonna be tried, like like we read in uh, uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. Man, we're gonna be tried by fire. That's gonna be part of that fire we're gonna have to go through to be purified and made made uh, whole. You know. That's part of it, going through that martial law, uh, being out here when the race riots start. You know, just being here pushing this truth, man, because we always we always say you never know what's gonna happen out here, man. People can ride by with a with a Mac 11 and just mow us down out here. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, so yeah. Uh Barack, 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, the Lord shall fight worthy. Uh, striving the truth unto death, man. Because a lot of people come in the truth who 
people fall out, they don't really know the, the uh, severity of what they're getting into, man. Right. This is serious, man. Because I know it, some, to some people it looks good. It looks like a fan you can join to be hip or to be cool. Man, he got nice little garments on. You know, Jake always want to be a part of something that seems hip anyway. But it's it's a real seriousness to what 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 we doing here, man. This is our life, man. We try not to get our try not to get beat and persecuted and fucked up in that day when when the Lord bring our hell on this place. That's right. You know? but like the brother said, how serious it is. When you when you sit back and you meditate on what God by sitting on the side has us doing. We are actually declaring war against the so-called white man in his in his military might. And we're telling him that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, is gonna come back and destroy him and we're gonna put him in a slavery, man. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a threat to that's this damn threat. devil, man. Good. That's a that's that's a that's the number one threat to this white man. He don't give a fuck about niggas going back to the six, he don't give a damn about them uh Black Panthers standing out there with guns like they had. The threat to this damn devil is the truth. This knowledge of the Bible, man. This is the biggest threat to him, man. Because it what it No, it's man, that's why we're on Project Magito. No one on the top of the list is black he lives in life, but he's living in life. So we're we're the threat to the Bible. The threat comes in because of the, the the truth, the knowledge puts a mirror to this devil. And actually shows him who he is. And shows him his faith, and that shit is scary as fuck. So he do, do whatever he gotta do to keep that from, uh, from, from, from coming out. Because he knows he knows that before the Mosai ever took down a, a kingdom or an empire, he sent the men out there to prophesy the downfall of it. He didn't he didn't win dug up ancient uh ancient biblical sites, man. He know that this Bible speaks truth and it speaks a volume of truth. Right. We got history of the world in this book, man. Kind. And he got and that and that fucking devil got Five, that 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 devil got five thousand years worth of history, man. He got he got that shit in the Vatican. He got it in uh, the Smithsonian Institute. He yeah. got it in uh, uh, the Library of Congress. Yeah. That devil got the records, man. He know exactly. He know exactly who we are as a nation of people, man. He know exactly who we are. So when he see us, see the men of the Lord, the Negro, Latino, Native American, out here prophesied. said in that letter that it would have to be a, 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 a phenomenon, a, a phenomenal act of God, or some way he put it, for them to awake out of this slavery state. And, and, and that's exactly what happened, and that, and, and that pursuing to the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter, and then when you go into the book of 2nd uh, Ezra, 2nd Ezra is the 5th uh, chapter, no, is 2nd Ezra the 5th chapter? Right. Five and one. I got mine. Yeah. Second Ezra five and one. And then yeah, also, right. And then also uh, Ezekiel the thirty-seven chapter. Yeah, he got. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's, well, that's the that's the book. There, yeah. that's the book right there. The letter, you know, the letter. So and when you read that, it's lucky, bro. When you read that, he just uh, he lays out a, a format, so to speak on how to keep a slave a slave, man. 